the dictionary version of cognitive dissonance can be aptly explained as follows. The psychological tension that occurs when one holds mutual, mutually exclusive beliefs or attitudes and that often motivates people to modify their thoughts or behaviors in order to reduce the tension. The second explanation is an uncomfortable mental state resulting from conflicting cognitions, usually resolved by changing some of the cognitions. The third is anxiety that results from simultaneously holding contradictory or incompatible attitudes, beliefs, or the like, as when one likes a person's action. Well, as we spoke about before trying to do this, I would said I would enjoy the layman's term of the cognitive dissonance definition. And it's basically when we are born, we are born into a bunch of different programs. We are programmed through our parents. We're programmed through education. We're, th we're, we're programmed through higher tuition. We're hired through, we're programmed through religious institutions, indoctrination. We're programmed through work experiences. So what happens is we've allowed all of these programs to come into our consciousness without really understanding what's going on. So if something that comes into our consciousness irritates, and that's all it is, it's an irritation, or it causes anxiety or um, suffering in a sense, what we do is we shut down. So we know cigarettes are bad. We know uh, the, that there are people that are suffering horrifically in other parts of the country. But when this happens, what we do knowing that maybe something is, is is not harmonious and is is discord energetically well we do shut down and forget about it we compartmentalize all of that well now because of the information age this is really going to be affecting a lot of people as it is affecting a lot of people so what we don't understand is that you know everybody loves to blame everybody right so it, it, and that's the thing well you know, there's a problem with all these people starving all over the world. That's their country's issue. You know, there's people that are um, that are now think about Texas, all those people without water, where we could all be, you know, coming together and sending tons of water down there from other places. With that's Texas's problem. You know, this is cognitive dissonance at its finest. We do it all the time, and we need to wake up to it. As you know, that that's my tagline. Uh, we wake up to it and we become more conscious beings where we start loving humanity and not just ourselves. Um, and it's going to take a lot of mental faculties to be awakened, okay, to understand the importance of empathy, compassion, critical thinking, reason, you know, things like this. So cognitive dissonance is something that affects everybody. Um, we just don't understand it. But it's so usually what happens is because cognitive dissonance will take anxiety medication or we'll start having these things where we'll start, you know, going within, but we're not solving the root issue. What we're doing is we're just masking it. And we mask it all the time with our cell phones. We mask it with food. We mask it with alcohol. We mask these issues that we really need to pay attention to. And that's all right, so here we are. Uh, we are actually going over bullet points here. Um, now, I know that you guys are probably going to ask, what is the series all about? So we are going to go into each bullet point that we're going to be discussing throughout the series so you have an educated idea on exactly what we're going to touch on and what solutions you will find to specific things that are going on in your life right now and how we are able to assist you in the energetic and soulful collective changes okay that are necessary uh, in order for you to become your best version okay uh, so uh, perfect. We, so we were talking about parenting and childhood. So, so uh, what what did you say again? Well, we were talking about the the five main uh, levels of these veils, right? 
um, these veils. And if you are have heard the that like term, five, sh- like five constructs of shrouds, this matrical sort of uh, uh, bl- bl- ready self building. put on blankets, sometimes yep. iron blankets, where we put these on us because mm-hmm. we don't want to deal with the dark. We don't like going and dealing with truth. People don't like truth. Okay. It, it all stems, and I love the way that you said it. It all stems. I mean, firstly, it stems from our predecessors, and we talk. You know, we have to talk about the parenting of the child, but it always starts at childhood base. People like to forget about it. That's cognitive dissonance, you know, and that's where we want to go in, and it, and it becomes actually it becomes a. a, a, a it, the reality of it and the truth behind it is people want to get you keep that cognitive distance because they want don't want you to heal. They want you to go to therapy for the rest of your life and, and not get into the root problems. Instead, we are going to just keep getting, we're going to blame ourselves over and over and over again. Okay. And blame others as well. And, and that, well, blame, blame, blame others because we've learned how to blame and yeah, we blame. stay in blame consciousness. And. And what's interesting is I can even bring in, uh, you know, I will be bringing in some of my personal experiences, you know, throughout. And, and same, same. And that, and, and, you know, that's how we're, that's the real harmonics, harmonics that's really coming in, you know, the harmonics that's coming into this matrix now uh, by, uh, you know, people that have done the work and this is what they chose to do. And your mind is a very powerful thing and everything as we know, I'm a hermeticist, I'm a hermeticist. You are indirectly as well. We all are. We really all are. And this is something we, we really need to understand that we create our reality. So again, we actually have five key points. That seven. Are, you know, well, hermeticism. Yeah, hermeticism, obviously. Is, have the seven. Uh, so uh, seven hermetic laws is going to play a big role in everything. That we and it's in, this, in the seventh most important topic. Right. And da, 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 da. The, the five that we are going to go over within the series, and then we're going to bring bullet points into it uh, briefly, uh, again, is parenting and childhood, uh, religious, religion, um, education. And spirituality, because we need to talk about the spiritual movement, because guess what? People getting it wrong and creating more, guess what? Cognitive dissonance. Okay. okay, and also the educational aspect of it, okay, what we've already been programmed to believe and see and react towards and become, as well as the workplace, um, you know, where, wherever we work, there's also a massive amount of cognitive dissonance because there's obviously more people, there's more situations. A, a massive amount of this grind that you are just doing this crap over and over again in this hamster wheel. You're gonna try, you're just working to get that boat, you're working to get that bed, da, 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 and you're not living in the moment, which is most important. This is gratitude and, and the, you get into splendor and awe by, by loving every second of your life. And being grateful for every second of your life. Like this. And like my daughter just brings me over a feather. How is that? That is wow. Look at beautiful. That from our bird. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It's magic. Oh, it's from your bird. Um, okay. So, and the very last one uh, within that list would be uh, the, the collective humanity. You know, the cognitive distance <laughs> of humanity. What the the most important part? Because like you know what, every I think that it's like there's a lot of deep down people that like want to buy into the destruction. Like everybody is like, just w- w- we're collectively traumatized, and I don't think we know how to like 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 I think everybody thinks that we're just over critical mass, and they don't believe that we can all heal everybody. And I think it's bullshit. And I think it's it, it's I think it's a, it's a this the the easy way out just like you know believing and and, you know believing in some of these religions are the easy way out and nothing's gonna happen say hi please poblano okay anyways um, (laughs) but but what i also to add to that what i'm also seeing is a lot of um outside influences going back bringing history back into our current present moment to be I able mean, to replicate it all over again. Well, w- no. first of all, I think that that's the number one thing because, like, seriously, like, we live forever. 
well, well you know what well, we live forever and that's it we are eternal beings we are in this matrix we're learning we're growing you know in my personal belief and i don't care because i'm crazy or whatever but my personal belief is everybody that's doing the 11 11 the real message is is you know there are beings from the 11th dimension that is coming here for 11 minutes and we have 11 minutes to save the world and you know what? It's time to wake up. You guys, oh, chop, chop, wake up, wake up. Da, 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 da. And we are here to help awake, waken humanity. Can you hear me? Yeah, hello. But what's really great about all this is the, the, other, the other bullet points here that we're going to touch on that are really important to this whole uh, creative series. And uh, the first one is the solutions to the uh, the fract uh, fractured matrix. Okay. Yeah. And it's it's a soul, it's a soul union. Like what's let's let, ready? Let's let's get to the heart of the matter. You know, let's get down to the you know, and, and it's like you know, ready as bubble gum, pop popcorn, sunshine, lollipops, and wishing and hoping that this is going to be, but it is, it really is. And we have to suck it up and love each other together. And guess what? This fucking masculine toxic, to this male toxic garbage that is being like basically blanketed like a horrific fart. Just, over. Like, the, just like the chemtrails all over the Yeah, dude, you're like, I've been bitching about chemtrails. What about this like toxic masculine yeah. shit that everybody's like going, ah, you know, like, and it's just like everybody, and like us women, you know, we, and some men, some sensitive men and some men that like really want change, you know, like they, they're just like, you know what, I'll just basically the biggest cognitive dissonance is like, I'll just smell this fart until it doesn't fucking smell anymore. But guess what? The fart's still there. Right. Uh, it's well, gross. And the other, the other points are things like, uh, you know, our inherent qualities, the limiting beliefs in, in, you know, the collective consciousness, as well as. Uh, you know, uh, talking about something about, you know, what are your truths and what are, you know, what are my truths and see what, uh, what, what, and then, and then guess what? Then there's just common sense and wisdom. Right. Exactly. And, and, and that's where we really need to get kind of the common sense. And if more people would just get into common sense, it could be a lot easier. You know, like, it, it, like people don't even want to get into co common sense. They're now just like, my, no, now my They're like, no, I don't want to be, I don't want to have common sense. Now, people, no, people have seen this uh, subject in movies. But they okay, have please put the bird away because the cats are here. Okay, sorry. Uh, this is uh, the the next subject is really uh, uh, it hits home for me, uh, which is the rabbit hole. Um, what is it? And there's movies upon movies, articles upon articles, a bunch of videos on on these this rabbit hole. Like, what is it? What part? And and, and, and you know what? At the end right. of the day, it's really easy. It's well, I, I know Gizmo's gone, but just put the bird back just for my own mental health right now. So anyways, um, the, the, okay, I think that that's one of the most beautiful things about the Philosopher's Stone uh, in alchemy with your own internal. And that is, um, you know, we, we, we want to find out the most beautiful way to awaken people in the most subtle way. That comes out of the 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 purity of heart and the in in the in the in the refinement of soul. And we've had, you know, there they, Michelangelo is right here, somewhere here. You yeah. know, there are people here that are there, these people that we keep, you know, we're recycling these masters over and over. Totally recycling the masters. And, and I yeah. absolutely agree with that. And they're because here. I've, because I've literally and it's interesting, I just want to bring this up, you know, before we conclude. Of course. Um, that throughout my journey, I've met, well, obviously with COVID and everything, you know, it's most of it's virtual or, you know, by telephone call. But I have literally met people that I can say in all honesty and all truth within me to my core that these individuals emulate reincarnations of these individuals and i mean literally i've i've found people that resonate or will actually emulate not even resonate but emulate with the energy of like mary magdalene with mother mary 
with Jesus, you know, with Archangel Michael. But but they are, that's what it is. It, it, they are these energies. I mean, it's right. Blavatsky, it's Crawley, it's, Absolutely. you know, it's George Carlin, I mean, you, know, yeah. it's, yeah. It, it, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, it's Chris Farley, it's, yeah. you know, there's, there, there's these I people that, Farley, like, just so we, just so we know. Yes, but I, you know, I love him and he, and he was my, you know what, he was, he was my, uh, escape out of the pain of childhood he was well, my it was your, your go-to comedian yeah uh, one at, at a time in my life at one time right? at one time so uh, so we do abhor you we do absolutely recommend that you sit with us watch the entire series because it is going to we're going to heal you you're we're... going to be healed in some yeah. way and you know what? It's a mustard seed, but we're like sitting there and we're going to just be like this. Boom, 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 boom. And one of those suckers are going to work. But the whole thing is courage. It's vulnerability. It's courage. People don't want to change. They love their narcissism. They wear it like a cloak. They, they pimp. They they strut it. They, they put it on like a cloak. They're pimps. They love it. What's awesome about what you just said, I'm just going to add to that. It's, I, I don't only think that it's narcissism, but I also think it's comfortability of complacency. Okay, it's called, and now I don't mind, listen, I'm not knocking anyone that loves to be comfortable. Comfort is a part of life. Listen, sometimes, listen, so, like the pimp game isn't comfortable, you know, but let me tell, but you know what though? And I'm just talking from the person on the other side of the fence. Right. right. You know, just, I mean, just even because, being a front just because, like, ready? Here, here we go for workplace. Ready? Just because, you know, you're not uh, doing some suggestive lewd act doesn't mean that you're not doing it by dealing with toxic work environments. Right. Exactly. So, so, guys, we absolutely love the fact that we're doing this together. And we look very much forward to seeing the comments and, and helping you change. And, you know, you guys contacting us even personally, uh, you know, if you're looking for anything deeper than just what we're offering to you. And the, the biggest thing that you'll get out of this is what, Brooke? Um, filling in those, that loneliness of understanding. You know, we get so boxed in and we walk in and a lot of us now dealing with these energies that it gets are just getting our butts kicked and everybody's feeling like they just can't get a break. Like the irritation is at critical mass for yourself. And you know what? You're tired. You're a good person. You're a good person. You and know? I've literally, I've literally talked to let's be your, ready let's be your neosporin <laughs> okay yeah let's be your antibiotic let's, let's, let's be, be a, let's be the thing let's be something allow us allow us yeah. permission to be those individuals that allow you to push the envelope to your own mental faculty as well as your own soul evolution okay <laughs> And, and you know what? Basically, let's reparent you. Let's re-educate you. Let's let let's heal those wounds. That you know. Let, let let's make you believe in yourself that you can attract or create your own level of employment. And let's bring you to a place where you're like, you know what? I'm ready to share my light with this world. And not hide it anymore. No, I love being me. I own me. This is who I am. And you know what? There, this isn't for everybody, and it's okay. But it is going to be for somebody. And you know what? If it is for one person, it's worth it. And, it's worth it for one person. And because it, you'll change not, the world. Even if it's not, if you think that it's not, because that's your own mentality, that's your own yeah. mindset, that you will still have, you will take something from everything that we give you. Okay, during the series. So again, and you know why, you know, at the end of the day, do you know why? Cause it's all truth and it's all from heart, man. That's it's why the heart space, all it's from all, heart space. Man. It's all, it's all from a good place. Mm -hmm. It's all from a place of growth, positivity, gratitude, appreciation, and knowing that we 
are the ones that can assist you. You know what? But maybe we could do this for the one person that it's going to assist for like the rest of eternity that we don't go through the bullshit we've gone through a collectively since the consciousness in a sense came into this matrix you know like where all of the suffering and all of the karma gets finally eradicated and that it's at the end of the day that's where we're at where we are in collective karma and like how do you clean it well these are the steps that we'll show you is like first of all doing your part you know just like someone will drop a drop a thing on you, you know you throw a, a, a something on the ground of gaia which we've all been guilty for at one time or you know a lot of yeah, dropping the pebble on the you know, uh, me, cigarette butts you know, you know whatever not even paying right. attention well guess what we are all gonna have to start paying attention and we're all gonna have to be accountable we all have to get better. It's not like I'm perfect. I'm far from it. I just know the basically, um, I'll let you use my tools. Here they are. So that's it. If you're ready, come walk with us. Otherwise, you might as well stay in your box. Yeah, but you know what? We don't even have to be that disharmonious in a sense, you know, because at the end of the day, um, it is what it is and whoever like, like uh, my, first of all i you know i can only speak for myself i can't and speak I can for only you speak for myself. and my 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 reason of doing this isn't like you know for this uh outside gain I've, I've moved beyond it and i'm not gonna lie about it one time did i think about it because I, I still want to do stand-up comedy but like people like I, i'm not going to be probably well liked but i'm ready for it Roger that. All right, guys. Well, it's your choice. The choice is yours. All you have to do is be open, be vulnerable, be able to listen and take in everything we give you. So, blessings. Namaste. Love and light. Namaste. Love and light. And we will. And appreciation. And we are honored to help all those that give us permission to do so. Namaste. Be humble, be blessed, live in the vibration of love, and take care of each other. Ah, uh, that was awesome. I love you. I love you.